Hello, and welcome back to these video tutorials to help you through the Google Level 1 certification exam. In this video, we're going to conquer scenario 6, which deals with Google Forms and Groups. So for scenario 6, you're going to want to survey your students about what they remember from last week using Google Forms. So you're going to create a new Google Form. You're going to add three questions using different types of questions. You're going to send the form to me and allow me to take the survey once and not edit my responses. Then you're going to review these responses in Google Sheets and sort the responses. Additionally, for scenario six, you want to create a group using Google Group around the students that responded to your survey. So we're going to create a group and then you're going to add me to that group. All right, so from your Google Drive, you're going to need to create a new Google form. So you're gonna come up here to the plus sign new again. And you're gonna click that. And then Google Forms is this one right here with the purple icon next to it. So select Google Forms. And this has now created a new blank and untitled form for you. So I'm just gonna call this one example form. If you click up here at the top, it automatically adds that title for you. You can put a description here like, please take a few moments to complete this form. All right. So now that we've created the form, we need to add three different types of questions. So let's do the first type. What about, what is your favorite color. Now, over here we have choices for different types of questions. So this can be a short answer where students can enter any color that they want. And then they would just click in this box and type in their favorite color. Okay, so short answer. So then over here on the right to add a question, you're just going to hit this plus sign right there to add a new question. So let's do How many siblings do you have? But for this one, I don't want to do a short answer this time. I need to do a different type. So I'm going to do multiple choice. So option one would be zero. They're an only child. Maybe they have one, two, three, four, and I'm going to do five or more. So I'm going to select which one of these is their answer. All right, so as third question, you do the plus sign again, add a third question. And let's do which is your favorite meal of the day? You know what? Let's let them drop down for this one. So breakfast lunch lunch dinner maybe a snack, maybe dessert. And those would be a drop-down option. So now that we've created the form, we need to share the form with our students and allow them to take it. Now the task asks that they can take the survey once and not edit their responses. So we're gonna go up here to the settings, it's this little gear, and we're gonna click on that. All right, so it's a good idea to collect email addresses. Here it says to restrict it to our organization. Okay, here it says limit to one response. And that's one of the keys. We want them to be able to only submit this form once. And then it says that they're not able to edit their responses after they submit it. So right here we have a box that if I were to click it, that means that a student could go back in and edit their responses and change them. But if I leave it unclicked, that means they cannot. So then we hit save. And now we need to send it to our students. We're gonna click the purple send button. And right here under email, you just type the email address of the people you wanna send it to. And then once you have that done, you just hit send. So 
So now that we've sent the form to students and they've taken it, we want to view our responses in, an ex in a Google Sheets file. So when we're on our form here, up here you'll see there's questions. Right next to it, you'll see responses. So if I click on responses, it brings up this where we can see some of our responses, but we want to open it as a Google Sheet. So you'll see this green icon here, which is the icon for Google Sheets. And when you click on that, it's going to open it up as a Google Sheet. All right, so now that we're viewing it as a Google Sheet, the last part of this task is to, support, to sort these responses by question two alphabetically. Well, question two for us is actually a numeric one, but that's okay. So we're gonna highlight the column. So if I just click up here on the C, it highlights the whole column. And then you're gonna go up here to data. And we wanna sort the sheet by the column C. So we're gonna click this first one right here and it's going to put it in numerical order. So now we have all of our responses, but they're in order by how many siblings each of our respondents have. All right, the final piece of scenario six is to create a Google group for your students. So to create a Google group, you're gonna be in your drive and you're gonna go up here to the waffle for these nine little dots. And you're gonna click on that where you get to see all of the different Google apps that are available. And if you scroll down, you're gonna to get to this one right here that looks kind of like a speech bubble with people in it. It's called groups. So you're gonna click on that and that's gonna open up Google groups. All right, so now to create a Google group, you're gonna come over here to the plus sign, create group and you're gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna create one for my class, Miss Hand Students. Now that's the group name, and you can come down here and change the way the email address is gonna look for that group. So maybe I want That looks a little bit better. So this is gonna be the email address, misshands underscore students underscore uc at rusd.org. And then you hit up here at the top right, you hit next. Who can search for the group? Well, this is if you don't want um, anyone, only the people in the group can see it or you're anyone within RUSD. Who can join it? I like to keep it only as invited users. So only if you've invited them, can they be in that group? All right, so then there's a few other settings here about who can hit, who can view the conversations, who can post in those, who can, man, who can view the members, things like that. And then up in the top right, we're gonna hit next again. And this is where we add members. So to add a member, you're going to type up right in here and you're gonna put a new email address. So if I want to add myself to this group, I can just type my name. You'll notice it's popped up like this with my email address. And you can add multiples here. You can add another person. And then when you're done, all you do is create group. So then we have this group right here that we've created and we can easily email our students or, or anyone in this group by typing this email address and then it'll automatically email everyone within this group. Thank you for watching this video tutorial to help you through the level one certification exam. If you have any questions or need any help, please reach out to me via email.